Hello, and thank you for your interest in learning about NashvilleHelps.com. In this video, we will provide you a quick and easy tutorial that will help you understand how to use the Nashville Helps form to connect your adult learners to the resources they need. This is a tool brought to you by Nashville Public Library's Adult Literacy Program. The first thing you'll do is open a web browser and navigate to NashvilleHelps.com. You can also visit the library's adult literacy page to find the form. First, I'll demonstrate how to use the form. Once the page loads, you can begin by entering the contact information for the learner seeking help, starting with the first name, last name, and then on to the phone number. Keep in mind that no information is required except the learner's consent to send this information to the Nashville Helps organizations. This way, if a learner chooses to remain anonymous and just leave a phone number to call, we can still connect them to the right resource. After you enter the learner's phone number, please indicate whether this is a safe number for anyone to contact this person. Below, you can also indicate any additional information for this phone number, such as whether it belongs to a friend or family member, or that the best time to receive phone calls is after 4 p.m. From here, you will fill in the learner's email address, if they have one, and indicate whether it is safe for anyone to email the learner at that address. Remember, if the learner doesn't have an email address, you can also leave this field blank. Next, you'll have the option of listing any additional contact information, such as an alternate phone number or email address. Again, you can leave this blank if you wish. Please answer this next question with your organization's name so we know what agency is referring the learner. The last piece of contact information to complete is the learner's zip code. This will help us determine which organization could best help the learner. After you have entered all the contact information for the learner, you can select the services that are requested from this list. If the learner is looking for help finding employment or job training, high school equivalency classes, and financial counseling, you would simply check off these boxes and click Next at the bottom of the page. There is no limit to the number of services a learner can request. The final page of the form is the consent statement. Please explain this to the learner you're helping and ask for his or her consent before submitting the form. Not to worry, submitting this information is safe. Contact information will only be shared with agencies that can help. Once the learner consents, just click Submit, and every participating organization that can help with the requested services will be emailed the learner's contact information, as well as the list of services he or she is seeking. The second step of this process is for the participating organizations to reach out to the learner to help. Once a learner submits the Nashville Helps form and selects a service that your organization can help with, the designated person for your organization will receive an email. Here, you will be able to see the requested services from the individual. If you can help, contact the individual using the information provided to offer your services. Before you pick up the phone, click on the link to see if another organization has already offered those services. If no agency has responded, make contact with the learner and if your services are a good match, leave a quick note about the results of your conversation here on the Nashville Helps follow-up form. Here you can type in the results of your conversation with the learner and what services you are planning to offer. Simply enter your organization's name in the cell, and then you can write the results of your conversation in the box that pops up next to the cell. If a learner has selected multiple services, there may already be a follow-up note from another participating organization. If this happens, you can add your note in the box to the right of the other organization's follow-up note here. Follow-up notes should only take two minutes or less. No need to include lots of detail. All other organizations can now see that I've followed up with this learner and won't need to call to offer HSE classes to Jane Doe. After you enter your follow-up note, you're done. Now you've helped a learner begin tackling the barriers standing in the way of his or her success. If you haven't used Google Docs before, here's something to remember. The follow-up form will save automatically after you enter your follow-up note, as long as you're connected to the internet, so you can exit out of the page without worrying about losing any information. For questions about how to use this tool, please contact asones at workforceessentials.com or megan.godby at nashville.gov. This tool is brought to you by Nashville Public Library's Adult Literacy Program and created through collaboration with Adam Soans, Catherine Jones, Megan Godby, and community partners like you.